live? We are live. Is my mic on? I hope so. <laughs> I hope so too. Hello everyone. This is Patchwork Party. I'm Karen and this is So and Save. Welcome to our February Patchwork Party. Yay! Good to see you all. I'm just going to chat for a few minutes while people are coming on. Lots of things happening. Yeah, we're getting there. Yeah, people are going to start coming on, so we'll just chat for a minute. We've got classes starting up, so I kind of want to tell you a little bit about that. This week we have our um, Sleep in Your Own Bed retreat. Next Monday, a week from today, we have a sewing social going on where you can just come in and sew all day long. And we have lunch, and we chat, and we sew a little, talk a little, sew a little, talk a little, sew, 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 talk a lot so a little more. So it's a lot of fun. So if you're interested in signing up for that, there are, I think, a few little spots left for that. Next month, I think everything is going to be going on. Um, our fabulous fabric, fabric box mystery is starting March 21st. That's a Monday at one o'clock. So if you haven't signed up, you can still do that. Oh, I forgot to get a box to show. Um, maybe we can grab a box, couple boxes from next to the register and I can show what our fabulous fabric boxes look like. Um, if you signed up and you want to stop in and pick up a box, you can do that. We have some boxes made up so you can pick out the boxes that you might like. Um, so the first clue and our first um, class for that is Monday, March 21st. What? Excellent. What else is starting up next month? Um, the Lori Holt Club is starting up next month, and I don't have my calendar next to me to tell you the exact date for that. But here is one of our couple of one of our fabric fabulous fabric boxes. Here's a couple more. So all kinds of different fabrics. Um, so your little box looks like this, so you can all bring it around, so Joe doesn't have to move. <laughs> we're working on a we're working on a tripod, so he's not he's not very mobile. So um, this is one of our fabulous fabric boxes. You can see a little bit more of what the fabrics are in this this time around. Um, here's another one, really cute. This one has um, some kind of. Um, reproduction fabrics, and then some little pretty spring blues and yellows. So these are the fab fabulous fabric boxes, and you'll come in and get your first clue on Monday, March 21st at 1 o'clock. So we're going to meet from 1 to 3, so you can come in and probably pretty much cut what you're going to do once we finish talking about everything. Um, so probably do your cutting, and then from then on, I will get you cutting instructions before class, so that you can get your pieces cut and then come to class ready to sew if that's what you like to do. Um, so that's that. Lori Hope Club starts. Um, we are still waiting for the Fair Isle fabric to come in. Haven't heard boo or ba about that, but still waiting. I have an email out to them asking them when they think it might be coming in. So as soon as you hear from me about that, we'll get started on that. Um, so those are the, the new classes coming up. I think f March 17th is our Jelly Roll 1600 class. Don't quote me on that date, look it up. Um, and we're gonna get together all day and do that. So if you have any questions about classes, just shout out, say, is this class, when is this class? Or, and we'll get you a class information about that. So we are up and running with classes and very happy about that. Yay! It's a good thing. Very, very good. So I'm going to kind of hopefully make life easy for Joe. Yes. So tell them about the PP20. And oh, yes. So don't forget to, I'm going to just go over and grab a gift card here. Don't forget to like us tonight, share us, like us, um, and join our Facebook page and start following our Facebook page as well as our YouTube page. And your name will go in to get a gift card tonight. Um, also, Anything that I show here tonight should be on the Patchwork Party section of our website. Use the coupon code PP20 and you get 20% off of the things that I'm showing you tonight. So without further ado, we can kind of get started and, and show some new things that we have going on. Lots and lots of fun new things coming in. Every time something comes in, we are so happy because we just never know what's going to come and when it's going to come. So we're happy for whatever comes in. We have got 
three new kind of kids lines. So our kids department is all back and spruced up. It was getting a little kind of dismal looking and now we've got all kinds of fun things in our kids department. So the first um, one that I have to show you tonight is from Susie B. And she's got these super cute little um, giraffes. So this is the little quilt. We just got it done. And obviously we're gonna get it quilted. So next month you'll see it quilted. But there's the quilt. We have two super cute, one with, oops, my little thing's falling apart. So we'll just pull it down. Um, one with the little giraffes on for the pillowcase. And then on the back, you can see the little bees. Really cute. So there's two pillowcases, this one, and then the one with the little tossed giraffes and the little hearts with bees. Um, and not only that, there is a um, panel book as well. So the little one can have a quilt with a book in the panel and pillowcases all to match. And um, these are on the Patchwork Party section of our website, PP20 gets you 20% off all this week on these, project, on these projects. So, uh-oh, are we blurry? That's not right. Are we too blurry? And it, we're blur, are we? Uh, Ursula said she backed out and came back in. It's a little bit better. Okay. So if you can back out, come back in. We do not want blurry tonight. How are we coming? Yeah, there's nothing we can do about it. How are other people? Can we give it a little a minute or two and see what people say? See what's happening? We don't want blurry. We've got so many fun things to show you and tell you about. Jill said hers was blurry and then it got clear. Okay, so give it a minute. Um, hopefully it'll clear up. Back out of it, get all the way out of your Facebook, come all the way back in and see how things look. Yeah, a lot of people are saying it's better now. Okay, oh good. Oh, phew. Oh, hopefully it will stay better. Okay, now. It's Off fine and on. Now. It's fine now. Good, okay. Okay, we're gonna continue. Going. We're gonna kind of keep going. Okay, so. Um, cute giraffes. Z um, I think it's Zoe. Zoe 2. Zoe 2. There was a Zoe 1. This is Zoe 2. So a cute quilt, two pillowcases, and a really, really cute book panel. So really, really nice gift for a shower or for the new baby that's coming along. Very fun. Um, this month's pillow for March is the little hearts that look like shamrocks. Really cute. So this is our pillow of the month. I think this is, finishes off our pillow of the month um, club for the year. So this is the last pillow of the month, but we have those for you as well. Um, the next, I'm going to kind of move these little, these little guys. I'll just set them right here. And then we'll talk about the other project in a minute. All right. This just came in. This we just love, love, love. Spring is coming to sew and save. And this is one of the fabrics that, um, one of the spring fabrics that we just got in. So we're working on a project with this. Really pretty, it looks like it's somebody watercolor painted this fabric. And if you feel this fabric, it feels kind of like a chintz fabric, like the decorator um, fabric that we used to get. Really, really beautiful quality fabric and the colors are just so vibrant. Yeah, so, crib size, right? best crib size. So you can see, if we look at the giraffe again, poor Joe, um, if you wanted to make the, it's a nice width, um, but if you wanted to make it longer, you could just add more of these rows in the middle to make it a little bit longer if you wanted a little bit bigger size. And you could put a border around it as well. So back to, this is called Modern Love. It's in the Patchwork Party section of the website. It kind of looks a batikish only in that it has that watercolor look to it. Um, but it's not a petite. Um, some of the other fabrics that, here's kind of the leaf fabric. This one is almost like kind of an ombre. This one looks very petite. Really pretty. Uh, this is the project that we're making out of it. I'm going to pop it out of the package, otherwise it gets a little shiny. And this is the project that we're making. Closer, just like closer, closer. 
closer, closer, right there. This is the project that we're making. It's almost done. So it will come back this weekend and we'll get it, get it finished up and hanging up at the store. Really pretty, simple, simple project. You get, you have your yardage in the center with some squares and a few pinwheel blocks and you're in. Very pretty project and quick and easy to do. I'll pop my pin in here. Here's just some of the other ones. Kind of looks like a, um, what do they call that now? Um, the um, alcohol painting, the alcohol, you know, paints that they do now kind of has that look to it. And here's some beautiful flowers. Am I too close, too far? Oh, uh, we're good? Okay, cool. And then check this one out. This is a great one too. Oh, they're beautiful, aren't they? Really, really well done. And the quality of the fabric is really nice. And then this one has more of a whiter background to it. Up, down, back, over. Really pretty. So this is going to make a gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous quilt. Alcohol ink. That's what I was trying to think of. Exactly what I was trying to think of. Thank you, Fran. <laughs> Thanks for helping me out there, girlfriend. Okay, so where should... What? Was there a quilt that you showed? Yes, well, we're going to be making... We're working on this quilt project. This fabric just came in. Somebody asked how big that was. This is... I'm looking... 40... No, that's the baby grand. This one's a little bit bigger, I think. This one is... Don't know. Can't see. It's um, a lap size. But the exact lap size, I do can't not see. That's a size, lap size. Lap size, that's the size. Yeah, it's a, it's a nice size. And if it wasn't big enough, you know, you could take one of those really pretty prints and go all the way around it. Yeah. So I can't see where it says on there what it is. But a nice lap size. Should we go this way or should we come around this way? Whatever I want to do. You're following me? Okay. Um, in the newest line of Cori Yoder fabric is Beautiful Day. She has a panel. Should I stand back here? Yeah, okay. This is the panel. So it's kind of like a cheater panel. So you could grab this, um, cut these apart, put sashing in between or a plain block in between each one of these, and you've got a quilt. All done. These are the fabrics. We have some quilts made up, but... We haven't quite got them finished up yet. So I kind of showed you these online when they, we were getting them in. So it's a big line, lots of really pretty colors with reds and pinks and grays and with some greens thrown in. I have, so we have, if you're following, if you follow her and this is some of the, some of the really popular, here we go. We doing okay? <laughs> we do. We're doing what we can do. Joe still has one arm. <laughs> one arm and a tripod. That's what we've got. <laughs> so we're doing the best we can with you guys. So bear with us. So Corey Yoder's line. This is a kit. If you're following her online, she's doing a block of the month using the panel. And she puts those panel pieces in. The first one was a star block. So you're doing a star around the panel. So we have a kit um, for that if you're interested in that. I'm not sure if this made it. It probably did. I think it did make it online. So a kit for that. We have some smaller projects. If you're not up for the big project that she's doing, we have some smaller quilt projects that we're doing. And I just did up this table runner. And this is from the, what's that table runner book called? Um, on the Run Again. <laughs> Had to look. This is from the On the Run Again bo book by Terry Atkinson. And I think it's Terry Atkinson. So I have to quilt this up and put my binding on this yet. But really fun project to do. Really pretty. And we will have kits for this as well. Just, you know, trying to crank things out as quickly as we can when we can. All right. I'm going to come back around this way and talk about my bag. Nice bag, I know. I love, love, love this bag. This is from Jalili Fabrics, and um, it is called the um, Peddler's Retreat Bag. And it's a big bag. This is 25 by 18, I think, finished off. 
um, by eight inches wide. It's made out of a panel, so the front of this is a panel. This is cut from the panel. When you flip it around, here's the back. That's the back, of, that's the other part of the bike. That's also a panel. And part of the panel is also these side pockets. So you have this little pocket here and this little pocket here. You have snaps on each side so that it kind of gives it that kind of pleated look here, but then it pops open so that you can fit all kinds of things inside. So I think you can see that there's um, a great big pocket in here and a zipper pocket. Can you see the zipper pocket? So there's a nice zipper pocket on the inside as well. I was gonna make this so that we could put it in the car and put all our bike stuff in it when we go, like our helmets and our water bottles and all those kinds of things. Um, a little too nice, I think. I don't think that's gonna happen now. So Question. Above that. Yes. It's not in the party stuff, is it? It, yes. Okay. So hang on a sec, I'll tell you about that. Um, so yeah, so big pockets, pockets on the side, pockets on the front, pockets everywhere, because we love, us girls love pockets and we love bags. Can never have too many bags, and this is a great one. Yeah, we were saying it's so big, by the time we fill it up with stuff, we won't be able to lift it and carry it. But that's okay, we'll figure it out. It's a Mary Poppins, yes, it is a Mary Poppins bag. <laughs> yes, she's right, it's a Mary Poppins bag. Um, so we are going to have a class on this, and it is going to be in April. It will be a two-part class. The first part of the class, I will talk about cutting out the panel, um, the quilting, and um, what pieces you want to quilt, and um, what stabilizer circles where. The kit will include all of the stabilizers that you need because that's always such a pain in the neck. You get the fabric and then you need the stabilizers. And you can see that you're going to need big pieces of stabilizers. So it's not kind of a grab your scraps of stabilizer to make this tote bag kind of thing. So the, the stabilizers will be in there. The, your snaps will be in here. The strapping will be in there. The zipper will be in there. Everything that you need to make this bag will be in your kit. So the first part of the class, we'll talk about quilting ideas, different things, how to do, cut out your pieces, that type of thing. I'll send you home for a week and you're gonna quilt all your pieces up and then we're gonna come back together and put the whole bag together once you've got all of your pieces put together. This is not a done in an afternoon project, just to let you know. Um, but it's not, it's a lot of fun to do. I really, really enjoyed doing it and it went together beautifully. She has some great ideas on how to make a bag and to make a bag so all your and I tweaked it just a little bit to make it even better. So it's gonna, you're gonna learn a lot and you're gonna have a lot of fun and you're gonna have a beautiful bag when you're done. So um, this is online and in the Patchwork Party section of the website to sign up for. Okie dokie, you don't have to take the class, you can buy the kit um, or you can buy the kit with the class all combined. So that's in the Patchwork Party section of the website. So I'm gonna put this down because Joe said that it was in the way when he was trying to videotape this. Okay, so that's that. Oh, let's go back up to the I love you a bushel and a peck and a hug around the, or hug around the neck. Um, we got this fabric in. It sold out in like, the panels sold out in like three days. So I quick called my sales rep and they are sending us more. So if you wanted one of these panels and you did not get one, they are on the way. So they are in the patchwork party section of the website. Um, so order one, you're not gonna get it tomorrow, but probably like next week, cause they're on the way. Um, so they are available and we got more and we can make the kit or you can just get a panel. Some people were just buying the panels. So it's not just a Valentine's thing, it's just really sweet and, and fabulous for kids. Yeah, it's very cool. Very, very cool, love it. Okay, over here, new from, and I'm gonna jot down and pick up my thing that I dropped. Um, new from Lori Holt are the cookbook towel, tea towel panels. So there's, oops, did you, did you drop me? I think it dropped you. Okay, did you flip me around? I think I got you back now. Okay, are we back? Are we still looking okay? Yeah. I didn't ask, I was afraid to ask. 
Don't ask. Okay, <laughs> we're going to keep going. Um, these are new from Lori Holt. Um, two two um, dish towel panels. Each one has four different um, dish towels in each panel. All we did is we just put, took it to our serger and did an overhead serge around the edge. You could fold these, you, you know, just do a little quarter inch fold, fold, and stitch to finish them off. But your tea towels are all done and ready to go, really sweet. So there's um, four in each panel. And then, I don't know what happened to them, but she also has the days of the week. So you could put a little tag on one, like to hang it, that says Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. You can switch your tea towels every day if you wanted to, um, or applique the, the labels on, whatever you'd like to do with those. But really cute, really fun. The fabric is really nice, um, towing type fabric. So um, really cute for your kitchen. Then the other thing that she has is, and I can bring this up here now because you can see, right? Can you see? Okay. Um, the other thing is a panel that makes a casserole dish carrier, casserole carrier, and the whole panel also has uh, little, pot, little pot things to go over the handles of your pots. That's included. Little pot pinchers. Really cute. Those are and two square hot pads and two round hot pads. So we have um, put the kit together with the Insel Bright that you need and the already made. Yes, already. No, you do not have to make it. The already made bias binding to go around all of these, which is the bigger pain in the butt. Some people wanted the hot pads and things which are really cool but they didn't want the casserole carrier you know what you don't have to use this fabric to make a casserole carrier this is big enough that you could make one of those um, the um, silicone hot mitts out of so you could use this fabric it's just a great big piece of fabric like this and like this you could use this and make um, mitts you could make some more hot pads you could make a little t uh, l those little table squares with the um, insole bright in there, as, or you could make the little um, mitts that have the silicone mitts in there, like I said. So you don't have to make a casserole carrier. If you don't think you're going to use a casserole carrier, you have a nice big chunk of fabric that you can make some other things that you might rather have. So a couple of people said, yeah, but I really don't want a casserole carrier. But I want these, because these are really cute, and they are really cute. So don't let the casserole carrier part of the, of the panel um, put you off because you get all of this, all of these really cute things in one panel. So cute. And the binding, the binding all made and ready to go that matches. So that's new from Lori Holt. So that's part of her cookbook collection that just came out. And we also have the chicken salad um, templates. So I started playing around with mine yesterday, didn't get too far, but um, next time I'll show you some things that we're going to do with these. She's making an entire quilt with chickens on, but I'm going to kind of switch it up and make some placemats and table runners using these. These are really fun to do and really fun to make. So um, I'm working on Henrietta the chicken and I'm going to make a placemat out of that. So I'll, I'll give you some other ideas of what to do with the really super cute chickens that she's got going on instead of making a quilt, just in case you don't need a chicken quilt. You might not. I love chickens, but if I had chickens, if somebody would let me get chickens, but he won't let me get chickens. It's just wrong. Because right now they're like almost going to be born and they'll be like little chicks. It would be so cute. Next. <laughs> She's like, move along, move along. I'll have to settle for the chicken quilt. <laughs> In the meantime, um, we are also, I told you we're getting ready for spring. Um, it's bunny time. It's almost Easter bunny time. Easter is April, I think kind of early, isn't it? Kind of early this year. Sure. If I'm not mistaken. I'm, I can't remember now. Um, but um, makes, we have the makings for these cute super cute little Easter 
baskets. Um, the, oh, April 17th. Well, that's, I don't know. That's about right. Not too early, not too late. Um, super cute, super fun. We used the, the um, Shannon Cuddle fabric for our little bunnies. And we have the blue boy bunny and the pink girl bunny and embroidered a little face on there. And I just, for their little cheeks, because they have to have the little pink rosy cheeks, I use, I had a highlighter marker and I just used my highlighter and kind of test it on your um, minky before you start. And I just colored it in with my little highlighter. And that's all I did to make that little rosy cheek on my little bunny. Highlighter, marker, crayon could probably work. Fabric crayon, so cute. There's, um, so we have kits made up for this. You get a bunny and you get a, what's a bunny without a carrot? A bunny, a little carrot pocket so you can put candy in there, or a little gift card, a little candy bar. So each kit comes with either a pink bunny and a carrot or a blue bunny and a carrot. Because, you know, you might need three pink bunnies and zero blue bunnies. So we didn't want to put them together. So, um, yeah, so a pink bunny and a carrot or a blue bunny and a carrot. Super cute. Fill it up with Easter eggs or Easter candy or whatever for Easter. You got plenty of time to make it. Not till April 17th will you need this. That's when the Easter bunny will be coming. So there you go for those really fun, fast, cute project for the kids to give to the kids. Um, yes. Okay. Um, one of my nifty notions for tonight are these little uh, magnetic um, pin cups. They come in two sizes, different colors. They're on the, they're on the website. Um, you can see the different colors that they come in. And what they do is they open up, they unscrew, here's your top, and then you pop your little pins out. And I don't know if I can hold it sideways and show you. And they sit in this little cup. So they're great to take to classes, to put in your retreat bags. This is the large size. There's also a small size. And it's magnetic so your pins don't fall out. Cool. Really cool. So then it just pops back down. You tighten that, screw that on, throw it back in your bag, and you don't end up with pins all over your, all over your bag. And they're really cute. Really fun little gift to give to your quilting buddies. At Easter, there's purple, there's pink, there's teal, there's all kinds of colors, but really fun. The pins are not included, sorry. I didn't, you know, just the way they come. So really cute. Fabulous. That's um, one of my nifty notions for this month. Last month, I talked about the, um, the rotary mat, the rotating mats. This is the 10 inch, this is the 16 inch, and we were out of one or both of the sizes. So we have both of these sizes back in. So you can pick these up on sale this week. That's uh, one of our nifty notions for this week. Love this thing. This is great to throw in your retreat bag. And then this one I just have sitting on my cutting table all the time. So that's that. By the way, somebody said chickens were a lot of work. <laughs> but you get fresh eggs. You just throw a little stuff down and I want the coop. I want the chicken coop. I think the chicken coops are really cool. They have them on, on Facebook. I see them all the time. Yeah, they're really cool. Maybe we could put the cats in the chicken coop. <laughs> they might like that. That would be funny. Okay. All right. Yeah. Okay. We digress. All right. I'm going to come back over around over here to another fabulous line. Um, of um, kids line that we just got in haven't had a chance to do anything with this um, this is called I don't remember this is called um, you are loved how could I forget that so llamas llamas are another thing I would I can't have chickens I would like llamas llamas don't could not our llamas because our llamas would be friendly happy llamas so they wouldn't spit they would be happy llamas. So we have little llamas and sheep and um, little chickens and birds on this panel. So the quilt will have this panel and some of the fabulous go with that go with it. So there's this panel. That's very cute. It is adorable. Yeah. 
it's so pretty and the colors are really nice for those moms who want the gray you know they're coming out with some better colors closer Joe said closer so they can see it. coming closer coming closer so yeah really cute with the little farm and the little bottom one is the little bottom one with the sheeps are really cute yeah if you can if your husband won't let you have a real But it really is the fabulous colors that the, the new moms want these colors. And so I think they're, they're kind of, it's a kind of nice um, compromise between what the grandmas want and what the moms want. <laughs> so it's really cute. So there's this. And then part of the line is also, has, oh, this also has a really pretty, very, very nice book panel that goes with it. Am I holding it upright? Yep, I'm holding it upright. And between the between the garage and the street, we have a big chunk of property there. Yeah. Well, yeah. I, I want to know too. <laughs> <laughs> it does look nice. If we got sheep, they could they would eat the grass, and you wouldn't have to cut the grass. Um, so here is our um, the panel that the this is the book panel that goes along with it. Very pretty book panel. Um, I think it has a little bit of a, a religious um, background to it. And it is just, you are loved, and it's so pretty. So you could have the quilt that we will show you next month because this just came in like Friday. So sorry, we couldn't get the quilt made and quilted and back. I know before today. When stuff comes in quick, we just want to, we want you to know it's here and um, really pretty. So this is very fabulous. On, our, on the website, PP20 gets you 20% off this week. So there's this, and then there's another piece that has... Um, these guys on them as well, just little squares. So we'll probably make some pillowcases or just some little pillows to go with um, with the, the quilt as well. So just very sweet, happy fabric. Fun, fun, fun. So that's this line, and these are the other fabrics that go with it. And some of these are just really pretty. We might do even just like a table runner out of some of these because they're not juvenile, so to speak. They're just really pretty spring fabrics, and this is really cute with the little carrots. Look at this with the little carrots on it. Closer. <laughs> Joe said closer <laughs> with the little carrots. So we could make some fun spring projects with this. And then there is kind of a border stripe that goes along with it that has the llamas and all the fun animals as well. So really pretty quilt is coming out of this pretty soon. Then our last fun um, kind of juvenile quilt project is this guy over here, and I forgot the name of this as well. This was, oh, Bramble, Bramble Patch. Bramble, I think it's just Bramble. No wonder I couldn't remember the name of it, Bramble. It's called, very cute, again, with the baby animals, kind of a, another watercolor type of fabric with the mom colors and the grays and just the baby animals with and really just super cute i don't know if joe can really get a view of some of the little animals and things and what they are but they're very sweet yeah super cute it's called bramble patch, I mean, the bramble patch. Showing up, but they were oh i don't know we lost our pictures on the website but they should be showing up because we got them in there Look at, can you do this one over here? This is really cute. Look at the little flowers with the little guy on there. The little mouse. Really cute. And the fox is really cute in the center. Do we know what? Um, I have the pattern. So let me look. For, let me pop over here and take a look and see what the size of that. It's a nice size pattern. Kind of a twin bed-ish. It is 55 by 71. Yeah, 55 by 71 on that one. So really nice size. And we'll probably do have some matching pillowcases as well come out of that too. So it's nice to have them matching pillowcases to kind of go with. Kids love those matching. Kids love those pillowcases. All right. Also in March, we have, um, I'm going to come back around here. Um, so kind of hold this up. We have um, St. Patrick's Day. So I kind of did a non-St. Patrick's day table runner 
and just out of some fun greens and blacks that you could put up all year round um, but just kind of felt like St. Patrick's Day without having shamrocks and leprechauns and pots of gold and things like that so if you wanted something that wasn't didn't like scream St. Patrick's Day but kind of wanted to be festive um, the, and this was such a fun shape to do and really simple project with just half square triangles going together to make my stars and my star points and things like that so um, the there's two different kits there's the table runner and then there's the matching um, pillow you could either do this could be a pillow or it could just be a little table topper we made it into a pillow with the back on it <coughs> to slide your pillow in um, but a cute little table topper as well so really fun for st patrick's day or just every day of the year i love this one i just love the colors in it um cottage star pillow and co cottage star pillow and cottage star table runner this is 23 by 46 and this is a 16 inch size in there as well i love this i just like this a lot it was fun to make Fun, fun, fun. Kind of different because it had a different shape to it. Um, all right. Uh, I'll show you one more thing and then I will do our a little demonstration for tonight. We also have, and she didn't put the name of this on here. We also have these little pillows. So um, they have, we're going to have four different ones for the four different seasons. This is obviously spring. This has a little bit of wool applique in the little block here. So if you don't like to do applique, or you don't like to work with wool, it's just a little bit right there in the corner. And you can do it by machine or by hand. We did ours by machine. So you can just machine applique that on the little, the, it's kind of done with a little mini charm pack. And you can make this into a table topper as well if you did not want to make it into a pillow. We made ours into a pillow and you'll have enough fabric to um, make a pillow. I'm sorry, what? I believe it is the Think Spring Pillow. Think Spring Pillow. If you think hard enough, this weather that's supposed to be coming in the next couple days, hopefully will not come. <laughs> Whatever's gonna happen, I think, just so, I think we're just gonna get a lot of rain and cold. Um, so that's that. Don't forget tonight to like us, share us, follow us, so that your name goes in for a gift card. Here's the gift cards, over here. There's been quite a few people sharing. Thank you for sharing, you guys. We love you for doing that. We really appreciate it. Okay. One lady said she was going to move, so she has to just watch online. Now. Aww. Oh, no. Sarah, what was the pillow Aww. size? The pil this pillow size? Um, just oh, the pillow size of the green and black? I think both. 16 by 16. Pillow, and this one is about, this is probably about 12 by 16. Yeah, this is about 12 by maybe 15, 16. Whoop. And very not very stable. So nice little pillows just to throw in a corner someplace. I have little chairs that I throw up, and as soon as I throw a pillow down, Joe likes to try it out. See if it see if it's just right for his head at night when he's watching TV. Okay, um, I have a little demonstration because we talked we talked like last month, maybe the month before, about the tr quick trim and circle ruler. And some of you ordered them, and they were out of stock. They're back in stock, and they are on their way. Um, a really fun ruler. This little ruler is 3 and a half by 12 and a half. So it does all the things that a 3 and a half by 12 and a half inch ruler should do and does do. Um, so there's the regular markings on it. There's your 12 and, a, and your, all of your half inch markings on this side as well. It has lots and lots of little grippy strips on it to keep your ruler from moving around as you're trying to cut. Um, when I showed it to you last time, I showed you how to cut a circle out of the quick trim and circle ruler. So tonight I'm gonna to show you how to use the quick trim portion of the ruler. So to do that, so what it will do, it will help you make um, flying geese and snowball blocks without having to draw all of those little lines. Because you know the first thing that you have to do once you've cut your pieces out to make your flying goose block is to draw lines diagonally through your little squares. Joe's shaking his head like, yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. 
I had him do that one time because I was running short on time. And he's like, do the, do the diagonal lines have to go right from that point to that other point? And I'm like, yeah. And I'm like, how many of these do I have to do? 150. What? <laughs> 150? Do I have to do all of them? Do I have to draw a line on all of them? I'm like, yep. But with the quick trims and circle ruler, he would not have had to draw all those lines. It's like, oh, sure, now you tell me. So, <laughs> so to do that, I kind of have my little dem demo board here just to try to hopefully make it a little bit easier for Joe. On this ruler, I'm going to hold it here. Can you see? Can I, or should I move this? No, you're fine. Okay. Um, on this ruler, like I said, you can see all of your regular markings. You can see your, oops, oops, okay. Careful. Prop malfunction. Okay, you have to tighten all of this. Okay, tighten that baby up. Tighten that up. Okay, let's have a do over here. Here we go. Stay. Okay. All right. Um, so you can see all your regular lines on here. But what's special about this ruler, when I move it over to the black, you can see these white little teepee lines. It looks, I call them teepee lines because it looks real. Hold it like this. It looks like a teepee. Yeah. These are the important lines to use when you're using the quick trim portion of the ruler. Okay, so let me show you how this is going to work. And what's nice about this ruler is that it's that these t little TP lines are on both sides of the ruler. You know how you pick up a ruler and you have to line something up and you're, and you're going like this. Like which side of the ruler am I supposed to use? You can use either side, which makes it great for left-handed as well as right-handed people. Mm -hmm. Lefties. Joe's learning how to be a lefty. I think he loves lefties good. now. He's getting good. He's, he's improving. He's improving. All right, so here is an example of a flying goose block. So I have my rectangle here, and I have my square here, which I would have normally drawn a diagonal line from corner to corner. I'm going to lay it on my rectangle for my flying goose. Okay, now stay. Um, I'm going to use these little white lines. Oops, I have to... Now I'm doing it. There we go. Um, to Because I'm doing this upside down and backwards. If you're looking at it straight, it's a lot easier. I'm going to use this line and this line. And they are going to line up with... And I'm doing, holding this backwards. How am I doing this backwards? Because I'm supposed to be going... See, I told you I'm going upside down and backwards. I practiced this at home before we were going to do this. Okay. Right here. No. Okay, hang on. I have to do this down first. Sorry, guys. It's okay. Quick, it's okay. quick malfunction. Okay, I have to go this way. Go okay, I got it. I'm do I'm holding the ruler backwards. Okay, here we go. All right, we're back. Sorry. Are you gonna go back up? <laughs> yep, I'm gonna. Sorry, I'm gonna go back up because okay. now I can do it. Okay, I'm trying to put the um, ruler going the wrong direction. All right, what you want to do is take your white line here and your white line here, and you're going to have the top line is going to shoot off that direction. I was trying to make it shoot this direction, and that's why it wasn't working. Okay, you have to shoot that line going that direction off of, not on the square that you're cutting, but away from the square that you're cutting. This other line is going to go right down along the side of your square. Okay, now when you look at this, you can see that the dotted line which is going to be the line that you sew on, goes right from one point to the other. If I have, you know, I'm whole, probably don't have it gone quite perfect. What you're going to do is you're going to cut this portion off. This part you're going to discard, which is what you would do after you make, after you you've done your stitching, you'd bring it back and you'd cut this off. You're going to cut this off now instead of drawing a line. So it kind of is two steps in one. It's making the line that you're going to put your side of your foot on and it's cutting this off, which you're not going to need. Okay, so then you'll cut this off and you will simply sew on that, um, put the side of your presser foot along the line that you cut and you'll do your quarter inch, which will bring you right down that diagonal line from point to point. Okay, so let me show you that one more time. It's going to go your little teepee, the one at the top edge, is going to go along off 
off of this your rectangle and the other one that goes up and down will run right along the side of your square okie dokie you'll trim this off discard this put the side of your presser foot right along the edge and you'll be stitching right down from point to point Very cool. cool right Super cool. isn't that nice to not have to draw a line again okay we're gonna do this again <gasps> oh no you're gonna use the same method if you're doing a snowball block so here's my snowball here's my corner piece that I would put on each corner I'm going to do the same thing again I'm going to put this on my background piece this line goes on the along the top of my background piece the, the one that goes down goes down my square I'm going to trim this off stitch on that line and then press that back and then move on and do the next one cool right love it and it works super super well do you remember how to do the circle did you want me to show you how to do a circle again yes yeah, okay um i think i can hang on <laughs> yes i can if i can find something to write with yes 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 we do it's very simple down the center of this ruler let's see if we can see it here are our little circle lines our little holes all the way down the center okay um you can make anything from, I think, a 2-inch circle to a 22-inch circle. When you use this ruler to make a circle, you're not going to use it with the sticky side down because that would make it hard to turn. You're going to flip your ruler upside down. Alrighty, And you're going to put a pin in one of the circles. If you need, and I put it right through my, my mat, and I don't have really something that I can write with, but we'll pretend. Um, if I was making an eight inch circle, I would count from the center dot that I, the center hole that I did, four, four circles. One, two, three, four. I would draw and draw a circle. I'm doing four because four is half of eight. If I was doing 10, I would, a 10 inch circle, I would count off five circles and go around because five is half of ten and that would make my ten inch circle and you just draw it out and off you go i love this it's so easy it's easier than going around the kitchen trying to find the right size pot or or bowl which i do a lot i do do that a lot and you can even use it like when you come over here you can take it and what I'll do sometimes if I want to curve something along the edge you can take this and just curve your edge and it will give you a curved edge if you get the right I haven't quite got the right you know but you can make those rounded edge on there you can use it to do that as well so I know cool right so quick trim circle ruler um, also in the patchwork party section of the website. Yeah, I put that in there. I'm thinking, did I do that? Yeah, I did. Um, so that's that. What else do I have to show you tonight? Somebody said it works off the radius. Yes. It and does. Big words. Big words. Big words. If you need an 8-inch, count four, four circles. <laughs> if you need a 10-inch, count five circles. <laughs> and you can put one in this end and go all the way out here. And there's even little itty bitty pivot points down here so you can make itty bitty circles as well. So really fun. So give it a try. Super easy way to make circles. What else can I tell you about? Somebody says it kind of frees up, but if it does, you can just back out and get back in. Oh, is it freezing up? Yeah, just get out, get back in, get out, get back in. And we will put this, we will relaunch this tomorrow on YouTube. So maybe it will look a little better on YouTube as well. So you can always see us again on YouTube. Um, everything that I showed you tonight is on the Patchwork Party section of our website. PP20 gets you the sale for that. Some pictures, aren't out yet. Some pictures are not quite on yet. They'll be on first thing AM in the morning. If you have a question as to what the thing is, just give us a call. Stop in and ask us. Um, oh, I forgot about the pic oh, I forgot about the quilts in back. Well, yeah, just a and minute. There, and Hello. People, and there's people asking about I know because they're gorgeous. 
gorgeous. Okay, let me put this down so it's out of the way and I'll probably trip over it. And this pillow's on the floor here too, so I'm probably gonna trip over that. Okay, this is from the Happy Chances um, Fabrics by um, Lori Heaney. Heaney, Heaney, however it is. Um, this is 53 by 63, super simple project. Half square triangles flipped all around and turned upside down. So we have kits available for these. If you're interested in this, this one, I just love this one. You should probably tell them how big that one is. I thought I said 53 by 63. Oh, that's okay. 53 by 63. Um, that fabulous Laura Heat fabric that we love, the Happy Chances. And don't forget, I think we still maybe might have a few of these panels and kits left. Not positive how many that we have. This, uh, yeah, I don't know, because these were going fast, so I'm not positive we have any more of these. Um, we might be able to get more if we're out. Um, this is a kit. This just has, um, this is just the panel, and we just quilted it up, added a back and a binding, and you're good to go. So just a nice size. You don't have to make it too big for it. You can put it in your sewing room and a bedroom, wherever. Really, really pretty and fun and easy to make. So this is the whole panel. And we just quilted it up and bound it. And so we had kits with the binding and the backing and the panel in it. We'll have to check on the availability of that. Not sure. But we may be able to get more if we don't. Yeah, that's okay. This one, love, love, love this one. This is called Free Motion Fancy. What a great young girl quilt. I love the fabric. So if you love happy, fun fabrics, teenagers, um, college student kind of fabric, um, Free Motion Fancy. This one is 58 by 71. So really pretty, great pattern with just the blocks. If you have a fabric that has a lot of big, bold prints or just big prints, that you want to highlight, this is a great pattern to do that with. Super simple to put together and make. I think, I love, those. I love the fabrics. They're just really pretty, very happy, easy project to make. So great, yeah, great, two great quilt projects. Fun and fast. These, this was done with fat quarters, I think with fat quarters. I want to say eight or something like that. Can't remember for sure. But it's a great fat quarter project. So if you have some great fat quarters that you don't know what to do with, that is, that's a great project to do that with. Um, we will put the pattern for that out on the website. Um, we did not do that yet, I don't think. Yeah, we can do that right away tomorrow. I think it'll be a patchwork party um, pattern, like for five or six bucks. Yeah. Um, but yeah, it's a great pattern. Perfect pattern. What else have I forgotten to show you? Anything? So don't forget that our classes are starting up again. If you have any questions on classes, um, let me know. I'm happy to answer any questions that you have. Fair Isle has still not come in yet. I have an email out to her, to our web, to our my sales rep about that to find out when they think that was supposed to come. They said eight weeks. It was supposed to be shipping at the beginning of January. So we're just about at eight weeks. So hopefully soon, as soon as we get the fabric, we will get started on that. We have a lot of people signed up for that and it's gonna be so much fun. You're gonna learn so much um, when you do that project. Um, what else? Um, tomorrow, should I tell them about what's happening tomorrow? We can tell about what's going to the because, because tomorrow, in case you don't know, is two Tuesday. Is Tuesday. Yes, yeah, Tuesday. Yeah, yeah. You're like, yeah, I know it's Tuesday. But tomorrow, Tuesday, is 2 22 22. So we're celebrating because I love stuff like this. So all day tomorrow, tomorrow only, just tomorrow, on Tuesday. Tuesday, 2, 22, 22, um, your fabric gallery purchase will be 2% off. Oh, no, 22% off. <laughs> They're like, 2%? <laughs> That's not fun. <laughs> no, 22% off. 22% off tomorrow, your fabric gallery sale. Um, if you can't make it into the store, 
uh, used the um, coupon code, and I made up the coupon code, I can't even remember it. Tuesday, T-W-O-S-D-A-Y, Tuesday, T-W-O-S-D-A-Y, to get 22% off of your online sale. An email is going out tonight about it and another one in the morning, just in case you forget, but you're not going to want to forget because it's only tomorrow when? Tuesday, 2, 22, 22. Get 22% off. So I hope you can come in and um, pick up some fabrics that you like for that or any of the other um, items that you might be interested in for 22%. Um, so I think, I don't know. I do not know what the brick pattern is called. I know. I can't, I, I can't remember. I am so sorry. I cannot remember. And it just says free motion fancy on it. Um, we'll get it up on the website right away. Yeah, we'll get it up there. Yeah, it's a great, pa great pattern, right? I love the pattern. love the fabric. Um, so we do have kits for both of those behind me. But, yeah, very pretty pattern. Um, what else? Any other questions? Anything else I can help you with? Any questions on classes or fabrics or anything um, happening, um, please reach out to us. Let us know anything that you want us to carry that we're not carrying. Just um, let us know. And don't forget to follow us, like us, and share our videos um, to, be, to have your name put in for our um, gift card drawing tonight. And in the meantime, stay warm. Spring is on its way. I know it is. I saw it about like this big coming out of my um, front garden up by the garage are our daffodils. They're about this coming this much out of the ground. So I hope they don't get frozen out now with the new snow. But spring, there's signs of spring everywhere. The snow is almost melted away just in time to get some more. So have a great west. West, <laughs> rest of West, have a West and have a great rest of the month. And I hope to see you soon. Thank you so much for joining us and see you next time for Patchwork Party. Bye. Bye.